creative art. I am Nilima and today we are going to make this beautiful natural looking flowering plant with an antique look using the silver glaze and lace at the background. This is a very simple but satisfying painting. The plant absolutely looks natural as if it is placed on an antique look frame. So friends, do watch my complete video to make a beautiful sculpture painting yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. All the materials are listed in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. So let's quickly check out all the materials now friends. To make a beautiful sculpture painting, first of all we are going to need a sculpture paste and suitable palette knife. So this time I am going to use a sculpture paste from Evgenia which is a decorative plaster for sculpture painting. I do have 3 to 4 colors and this time I am going to use olive, white and pink smoke. If you don't have a suitable color, you can also add and try mixing a little bit of acrylic color with the paste to change the shade of the colors. And for knives, I'm going to use a palette knife number 1013 which looks like this and my favorite size which is palette knife number 10 from Mount Martha. Other than that, I'm also going to make use of few acrylic colors to get the suitable color of the paste I like and few paint brushes for the final finishing touch. For base, this time I'm going to use a canvas board of 10 into 12 inch size. You can also use a round cut MDF board but remember the thickness should be at least 5 mm. So let's start the video now friends. First of all, we'll start by preparing our base which is a canvas board for sculpture painting. So for that, I'm going to use a white sculpture paste. I'll directly take it in my palette knife, mix it on the base just a little bit as this time we're going to do white on white base so we don't need anything extra take just a little bit sculpture paste in your palette knife like this and scrape it on few places this will simply create a texture So this is how it looks. It just has some kind of pattern with a lot of texture. That is what I wanted. I'm mostly going to keep it plain white but just on some parts I'm going to sprinkle the silver powder. I gave it a sprinkle of this silver 20 which is a metallic powder kind of consistency and I have directly sprinkled it on the base using palette knife spread it a little bit and you'll get this kind of shiny look of silver it really looks good so I'm going to keep it this way and now let's start preparing for our sculpture painting by mixing the sculpture paste for flower, I'm going to use pink smoke color sculpture paste from Evergenia. This is a decorative plaster for sculpture painting and this is how the color looks. You can definitely change the shade of the color by mixing a little bit of acrylic color in it. So first of all, I'm going to take just a little bit of sculpture paste on my base and I'm thinking to make it look much more bright. So I'm going to use just a little bit of neon pink and mix it very well. In the same way, you can add many more different colors to change the shade of the similar sculpture paste. And now, this is how beautiful and pretty our sculpture paste looks. In the same way, I have created a darker shade of a light purple color. Now here I have taken a dark pink color sculpture paste and using my palette knife number 10, I'm going to start scraping it from one side in this way. And here on the back side, you can clearly see I have received a petal shape. So using my palette knife, I lay it down. As these are the bottom petals, so we don't have to much worry about cleaning them up. Just keep laying more petals in the same way. You can do the same from other side also.
After two layers of dark pink color, I'm going to start playing dual color leaves. And here I'm going to place peach color and pink color petal. Now after placing half of the petals, I'm going to place the center and for that I have selected to use yellow sculpture paste. So using just a palette knife, I'm going to place some yellow sculpture paste in a random way. Then I'm going to use a black pollens and using a tweezer, I will be placing them right after yellow. And finally, I'm going to place a black center, which I have made using the black sculpture paste. And before that, let's place a lot of yellow in the base for the support. Again, place the black. Then again, start dropping yellow from all the sides, if possible. And then the same way, I'll place more black pollens. looks good this way so now let's start placing more petals and again let's start placing petals now i'm going to start placing the bottom leaves Now this is how beautiful our flower looks when it's finally completed. I have literally placed so many petals in this flower. It really looks very beautiful. So now I'm going to place a bud right here. So that will be just a half bloom bud. Start by placing just light pink first. Place a complete ball of pink. Because I'm thinking to encircle this ball using petals. Now place the final petal. Be very very gentle. After placing all the petals, you simply have to bring them close enough so that you can close them in this way. And that will make it look like a bud. Now in the same way, I have made one more bird right over here and this is how we are going to lay some green color leaves surrounding it. So for that, I have taken some lime color sculpture paste in my palette knife, already mixed it up. Let's make a few leaves. Now I'm using palette number 1013. You can also use palette knife number 10 and using that, I'm going to start scraping lime color sculpture paste from one side of my palette knife in this way and then place it like this shape it before we start placing it clean my palette knife lift up the space and gently start trapping it around keep doing the same So this is how the scraping should look. Then lay it down from one side, carve the part you need, clean your palette knife and then gently pick up the piece you want to lay in this way. Now in the same way, let's start making few leaves. For that, you can either use palette knife number 10 or either use the same 1013 palette knife. Start scraping the sculpture paste from any one side. Here you see, 
then simply remove this excess part by scraping the opposite side and you'll get a smooth end again keep scraping place it on the face make a very clean good cup do the same from the other side also and then you get a very clean and clear leaf When you see you have got a clear leaf, just give it a half cut in this way. And this is how you get a beautiful leaf. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to make more and more leaves. And then we can start placing it on our base. For making a stem, take some sculpture paste and start rolling it in this way. You can also use a piping bag and pipe this sculpture paste out to make a stem but sometimes I also like to do it this way. Okay, just roll it in this way and this is how we have got a stem. So it is really very easy to place. Just use some glue and place it straight just as you want. And in the same way you can place more stems. Now one by one I'll start placing the leaves as it's been quite some time that I made these leaves so I can directly pick them up in this way and as I have not directly placed it using palette knife so I need some glue to place them right on the place. Now for this leaf stem, you can either use a ceramic cone or else you can also place the sculpture paste which we have created just by hand in this way. For any details, you can place this kind of small stem attaching to the bigger one. Now friends, we will let it get dry for at least 24 hours and then we can start doing coloring on the leaves to make it look much more natural. Now friends, the leaves are completely dry. So let's start the coloring part for which I'm going to use acrylic colors which comes in this kind of small bottles. First of all, I'm going to use leaf green color. So what you have to do is take a lot of water and just a little bit of color in your paintbrush and start coloring the leaf in this way. So this actually gives a fresh leaf color. Always try to use very, very less color. So the coloring part is not a compulsion, but if you want to give it a natural look, this is really helpful. After using the green, take just a little bit of pink and mix it with the green color. So you'll get this kind of color which is very much near to olive green but a little towards pink. And using this color, just color the edges of the leaf in this way. So this will kind of bring much more natural look to your leaf. And now after coloring all the leaves, I'm going to use just a little bit of neon pink and color the tip of the leaves in this way. Just have to simply give a slight touch which will make the leaves edges pop up. Now the same I'm going to do with all the leaves. First do a very slight touch up using combination of pink and green the same color i'm going to use on stems just to do some highlighting not on the complete stem and then finally a slight touch of neon pink on all the leaves
Now friends, I have finally completed doing the coloring part and this is so beautiful our sculpture painting looks. I absolutely love the natural coloring of the leaves and flowers as well as the bud we have given. So now friends, I think that only one part is missing which is to frame this painting. As currently that is not an option. So I have decided to use one of my laces to give it a border which will surely improve the beauty of this painting and definitely make it look complete so there are two options either you can use a plain ribbon like this one or else you can also color it gray or silver the same tone we have used for our base so first of all friends i'm going to apply a white ribbon on the sides using favicol which is a white glue so let's start from the side then using a scissor cut it this is how it looks. For next part, I'm going to overlap the designs in this way. Now I'm going to use a favicol, apply it right on the border in this way. And then place the lace exactly on place. Give it a gentle tapping and press it on the glue. It will be stick just in few seconds in the same way we are going to place a lace on the top for that apply glue the same for the side also and now finally friends it's completed so i let it get dry and then show you the final look of it okay now friends i have mixed a little bit of metallic silver color in my palette and this is how it looks using which i'm going to color the white lace into silver so you can either directly uh, place a silver lace or you can simply color it in this way. Now friends, we have completed doing the border part and finally this is the complete look of our beautiful sculpture painting. I absolutely love the antique background we have given on the base using the silver, grey and white color and the most beautiful part of the painting is of course the flower and the natural looking plant which came just because of the coloring part we have done which makes it look so beautiful and absolutely natural. Friends, if you did like this painting, try watching more similar videos from the same playlist. The link is given in the description box below. And do tell me in the comments below, how did you like my video, friends? And if you do like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.